Ohio mezamas. That is good morning in Japanese, which basically is where Bethany Cantrell, who's with me today, was raised. And so she taught me a little bit of that. <laughs> I told her in some parts of Mississippi, that means go get me an omelet. <laughs> Uh, but good morning and welcome to 7.5. This is our morning devotionals for 21 days. We're glad that you're joining us. We are looking at a variety of different topics that we hope are really going to assist you and encourage and empower you to live a life that God has called you to, a life to leave a mark and make a difference. And so uh, we welcome you to today's edition. Uh, Bethany Cantrell has played in many different roles on our staff at Life Fellowship Church. Uh, currently, she is our multi-site coordinator, and so she works uh, closely with Tim Simmons. Uh, and so uh, we're, we're glad to have you here today. Glad to be here. Uh, we're talking about focus, and we're talking about how to live a life that's focused rather than be scattered and all over the place, chasing down different priorities and different focuses in the different components of our life, because our life is is broken up, it seems like, in, into mm -hmm. different roles. And sometimes we we let those roles lead our life rather than live our life the way we should. And so uh, she shared with us a, a devotion. We're going to sort of bounce back and forth, but it starts with a passage of scripture from John 10, 10, where Jesus says that the thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy, but I have come to bring life and give you life more abundantly or life to the full. And so why don't you share with us a little bit about the tension between uh, the fullness of life that we, we think fullness mm -hmm. is about and the fullness that God provides through sure. Jesus. Sure. So in different seasons of our life, even throughout the course of 24 hours, we have so many different focuses, or it can feel that way. Um, our roles, they vary through the years, and inevitably they're stacked, they're compounded. We never just do one thing. So for me right now, I'm a wife, I'm a mother, um, I'm a worker, I'm a coach, I'm a teacher, I'm a friend. Um, each task that we do related to every one of those roles takes effort and it takes time. Yeah. So how do I prioritize all those things? How do I devote myself to every role during the 16 or 18 hours that I have that I'm awake during the day? Yeah. Um, if we make our focus on the role or the task, we are going to get bogged down because there's just so much to do. Yeah. So like you said, Jesus tells us in John 10.10 10, that he came so that we may have life and have it to the full. Yeah. Most of us probably can and probably do. We just live life. It may not be to the full. We're just getting through our routines one day to the next. So what if instead we choose to make God the focus, to live the life he's given us to yeah. the full? Yeah. And you put together some great scriptures around this idea or actually a quote in the Bible from the Old to the New Testament. God and even Jesus says when they're talking to us, uh, so that you may live. This is sort of the, uh, the the tag on the end of many different passages and promises. Isaiah, come to me and listen so that you may live. Uh, Follow my every command I give you in Deuteronomy. Honor your father and mother in Exodus Seek good and not evil so that you may live. Follow justice. Uh, do what is right. Believe in me. Be filled with knowledge of his will so that you may live. All of these are focused on a singular thing. Mm -hmm. uh, if you'll do what I've called you, if you'll be the person I've called you to be, you will live. You'll have that abundant life that I promise. You don't have to chase it through uh, being all these different roles mm -hmm. to the max or whatever that everybody expects, but you can actually have the fullness of life that comes uh, exclusively from me. Exactly. I just love that in the Word it so clearly says, do this so that you may live. Because yeah. we ask that question, how do I live life fully? And all of these instructions, if you notice, they weren't tied to a specific role, yeah. um, a specific task. It doesn't say you have to be a lawyer or a mother or a plumber. It doesn't say you have to be wealthy or poor. Um, anything else that might be part of your identity, but these are generic commands that he gives us that fit in everyday life and everything that we do. Um, another one of the most recognized teachings is in Deuteronomy. Mm -hmm. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your mind, all your soul, and all your strength, and love your neighbor as yourself. And in Luke, Jesus says about that verse, do this and you will live. Yeah. So if we're focusing on him, if we're loving him with all our heart, our soul, our strength, and our mind, he is going to guide us on selecting how to best use our time. Yeah. And he's going to grant us the ability and strength to accomplish those tasks that we can be a little overwhelmed with. Yeah. He will do that. It sounds really easy. Just focus True. on God and uh, and all these other things will be taken care of. It sounds like another passage. 
but why is it that you think that we get so caught up mm-hmm. in these other focuses, these good focuses. Sure. I mean, they're good things many right. times. I want to be the best dad. I want to be the best whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, why is it that we get so caught up in that and actually lose focus on actually living life and the life that he's called us to live? Right. Yeah, you're right. There's so many countless ways that we can invest ourselves in relationships and different interests. Um, you have to look at the season of life that you're in. You've got to be honest and self-aware. God placed you where you are mm-hmm. for that time. So as a child, your job is to honor your parents, Mm -hmm. to be a good student, and to begin to discover who God's created you to be. Um, If As we enter adulthood in the workforce, we start to choose what kind of contributor we're going to be. Will we work with integrity, Mm -hmm. with discipline, commitment? How about a family? If you have a spouse or children, those relationships are of utmost importance. If you're going to be committed in marriage to one person for all of your days, Mm -hmm. that requires priority. Um, and then there's parenthood. That opens yeah. up a whole new world that we're tasked with raising yeah. little people. Yeah. So one verse that keeps my focus right now where I am and God's priorities is Colossians 3.23 that mm-hmm. you mentioned. Whatever you do, so whatever season you're in, whatever task you're facing, whatever you do, work at it with all your heart and work to the Lord, not working for humans. Um, I, I love that. I love the idea of seasons. That can help break down mm-hmm. a life that seems like, man, 7.5 is still pretty large and luminous out there. And uh, I love the idea that you break it down by seasons or where you are and you can live the fullness of life in each season. Looking at life not in roles, because you're always in roles, right. but looking at it in the season uh, can be a very helpful way of doing that. One thing I've got to do during the day to help me get through is continually refocus on God. I've Mm -hmm. got to talk with him throughout the day, and I've got to check my heart. Am I working for him, or is that for me? Yeah. So it's a good check that takes me just through a day as I lose my focus. Well, everybody, uh, some of you are about to go to work, and so I'm going to have Bethany pray for us. And some of you, maybe you're coming back from work. I don't know what your situation is, but... Uh, I pray today that you'll have that focus that you need and that God will uh, help you focus on the life and not all the little individual roles of your life and uh, and really get that pa- uh, priority down. So, Bethany, you mind praying sure, for us today? Sure. God, I thank you so much for who you are. I thank you that um, you are good and that you give us all these instructions so that we may live, that you came, that we can have life um, and have it to the full. Um, God, I pray that we would focus on you each day, that we would check our hearts and just think, am I doing this for you? So am I doing it with the right heart? Mm -hmm. Um, I pray that you would guide us each day and draw us to your word so that we can live for you and live a full life. In your name I pray, amen. One of the ways that you can stay focused is uh, uh, 21days.lfchurch.tv. It's our read, pray, fast uh, resources, and so we hope that you'll make that available. Tell them goodbye in Japanese. Sayonara. Thank you. We'll see you tomorrow.